Greetings, greetings, my hey sister. Greetings, salamu alaikum, namaste, etasem, bawani, and the list goes on. Greetings, my name is Kai Kretasia, and you are here on the Ayami channel. So this is the part two of my International Women's Day series. And when I was throwing ideas around, I was thinking about uh, the specialities of being a woman. And there's only one that gave birth to me and we will talk about her at the end of the video but actually a lot of people have been women in my lives that have been my role models and my inspirations so I have gathered a list of women that have helped me along my way cultivate who it is that I am that have installed lessons, lessons and thoughts and ideas and beliefs and ways and practices um, so the first one being Miss NG she she was my maths teacher from year seven to year nine and she used to be so much harder on us than of than on the, some of the other children in our class and i couldn't understand why i thought it might have been a racism thing i thought it might have been a sexist thing but one time when she gave me a detention for talking outside of the window <laughs> um and not the other people the other popular people where i finally said like miss why are you always on my back why are you always on my neck like release me <laughs> and she said because I have high expectations for you Nakelia and I know that you can reach it and that was the lesson she had high expectations she had a vision for us even when I couldn't see it so come year nine she put us in for our GCSE maths um for maths GCSE we got that C we got a C and I was confident with my C and I was happy for my C and I worked hard for my C but again her having a bigger brighter um understanding of what our future could hold she pushed she pushed she pushed and by the year and by year 11 my friends and I got A's in maths which we did not envision but shout out to Miss NG for holding that vision for us so give thanks miss ng next up auntie tash <laughs> so oh i gotta describe them as well auntie tash is a voluptuous educated highly polite and intuitive woman and she taught me from young she used to say to me you're destined for greatness and at that time I had no idea what she meant but she used to always say it um, when she used to kiss me goodbye you're destined for greatness now it's like I can feel it you're destined for greatness and now I know that she was putting affirmation on me that she was putting her blessing on me so Auntie Tash was a mediator so when I was like 17 and 18 my mom my mom and I couldn't see eye to eye and sometimes Auntie Tash was the middle person she transferred my thoughts conveyed them into a language that my mum could understand and allowed for better communication and vice versa so sending infinite blessings auntie Tash auntie Mel auntie Mel is a fiery coconut oil traveler and auntie Mel was the first person to teach me to be specific about what I ate so when we were younger Oh, I'm getting hot. When we were younger, Auntie Mel's children couldn't eat red meat and they couldn't eat um, shrimp or they used to have like lentils. And we didn't have lentils in our yard. So I learned to be particular with what I allowed into my body temple. Um, I lived with her my first, at my first uni and we were just living in a house of women and she taught me how to embrace all of my boobies. It was so liberating and I don't know if she did it on purpose but thank you Auntie Mel for that lesson. Auntie Jo is a highly um an outlier of intelligence a big bosomed woman with a cheeky and squeaky smile and she taught me the importance of education she took me to oxford university um as i just left a2 and was deciding on my first on my uni she was showing me that the possibilities are endless and with intelligence and with focus and with diligence anything can happen so thank you so much auntie joe 
Auntie L taught me a lesson that was crucial for that time. She calls, oh wait, let me describe her. Auntie L is an older Spanish, beautiful homed woman. Um, and she taught me that I was beautiful at a time when I thought I was so ugly. Auntie L used to call me, oh Nikki, my baby is here, my baby is here. She would give me the two two European kiss and she would say, why don't you start modeling? And I'd think to myself, what up to this woman? Like she's trying to mug me off. But she truly um inserted she what's it called inception she had the inception she conceived the idea she planted the seed that i might be able to be beautiful when i grow up so thank you so much auntie l um someone that's quite close to her is auntie m auntie m again is a mature heavy cinnamon ghanaian woman and she taught me about african culture um her being from ghana she taught me i was visiting her one day and I went to go blow my nose but I went to go blow my nose with my right hand and she said no in our culture your left hand is your dirty hand and your right hand is your clean hand so you blow your nose you wipe yourself with your left you eat and you write with your right hand so thank you so much for teaching me that auntie M okay so another auntie is auntie Tash auntie Tash is a gangster um extroverted spotlight she's a leo and she taught me the process of getting ready so she always likes to be out and she taught me that you shower first no no, no. you iron your clothes then you shower then you do your hair and whilst your hair is getting slicked down or wrapped or you're like sticking your baby hairs then you do your makeup and like to hold your top far away from your beat face so that doesn't affect the uh the coloration of it after to spray your perfume behind your is and under in in your elbow and um in your hair so yes thank you so much auntie tash so auntie a auntie a taught me actually a lot of her teachers came like earlier on in childhood she was the administrator of fun she took us to arcades to fun fairs to um not roller skating, uh, parks, we played tennis. She was our ambassador of fun. But Granny taught me the power of being frugal. So a lot of my lessons from her is like, thinking outside of the box so she'll be sending me videos on how to make your money work for you as opposed to you working for your money she taught me to go to ch not not having no shame in going to a charity shop or a thrift shop auntie bobs is my mum's friend and she taught me or she was the first woman to talk to me as if i was an adult she had interesting and cultural oh actually let me describe her as well she is she calls herself a bitza a bitza this and a bitza that she's a multicultural um ethnic diverse appreciating constantly learning I lost the footage but Auntie Barbs took me to my first ever yoga class and she encouraged me to swim freely in the Mediterranean Sea. So Auntie M is a spiritual, maternal, tribal woman and she put me on she taught me about spiritual practice spiritual hygiene spiritual discipline she can she's a reader and um she has been a pillar and very important teacher of cultural ancient spiritual practice for me so thank you so much auntie m auntie sandy showed me what femininity looked like in its strength she showed and exhibited what it was to be strong and powerful and to actually connect with your masculinity and bring it in alignment with femininity okay so uh nana <sighs> Nana is, I've spoken about her in another video, but Nana is my heart. Nana is my elder and Nana, I, I have a lot of love for her. One of the reasons is she taught me about poetry. So when I was about six or eight, she came over from Jamaica and when I was at my dad's house, she was offering me her poetry books. 
she was offering me her poetry books and she sat down and we spoke about poetry and she gave me this big about this big um blue butterfly that I kept in my room and she she put me on and I think that's why I love poetry and spoken word now and also when I was 19 I spent 10 weeks with her and it was very much so needed so for all of those who don't know I'm a firstborn and I'm a firstborn of in together in totality seven it can be challenging and laborsome and I really needed after I just spent so much time doing my A levels I was taking a gap year and I needed time to just be to relax to understand things and Nana provided me that space she let me go to Jamaica she she doted on me and that's all I needed I learned I had been reading Peace from Broken Pieces by Ayala Van Zandt and she talks a lot about pathologies and it kind of nicely ties into our genetics holding not just our phenotype but our behaviour, our mentality, our access to spiritual gifts and so with Nana I kept on seeing her within me like that was the first time that I'd seen it seen it so overt so obvious um she likes chewing gum I like chewing gum she loves the wild and being in nature and getting really like hands on and just being in tune with what's already out there on in the earth I love that too and it's just clear that I got that from her I also got my cheekbones from her as well I have oh let me also just add that there are so much m other women that have inspired and created and been my building blocks that have helped me on my journey um there also are women that I mentioned that taught me lessons that other women taught me in the list if that makes sense so I'm saving the best till last my mom ma ma yay yay me ma mommy she has been clearly <laughs> she is clearly the biggest inspiration um when i asked her just now what she thought her lessons were was education is key to become educated so no one can run game on you she also said that you represent me you are an extension of me so when you walk out of my house know that you're representing me so when you go to school when you go to basketball practice when you go to uh, the cinema you better act like you're someone's daughter and then the third one i can't even recall right now mm, i can't remember but when i thought about the lessons that she taught me my mom taught me trust whenever i showed an element of quirk or an element of uniqueness she embraced it she celebrated it she congratulated it. she allowed all of her quirkiness to run through me and she never ever condemned or judged me she just allowed for me she also taught me that a power of being resilient Woo! stories um yeah my mom's resilient that's the only way i can put it she shows me that a rose can grow from concrete she makes three course meals out of empty fridges and naked cupboards that was a direct link to my mum um she also taught me to to love even if people are incapable of loving you that's irrelevant to be love to remember that it's weird because she's taught me so much my mum is a teacher and she is an educator how can i forget to describe her my mum is a, an effortless natural goddess her beauty is quiet but loud um she's subtle and she's soft but she's powerful all at the same time so I'm saying all of that to say this, we are not just made of one thing, people input into our lives. So I ask, who is it that you um, have been taught by? Who is it that you have been inspired? Who are your role models? Who are your teachers? I've only spoken today about the people that are tangible to me, that I've been able to hug and share food with and commune with. But obviously there are other beautiful women that I've never been able to um, connect with that have had a big input in my life. Who are yours? Are they either your, are they your aunties, your nieces, your cousins, your grandmothers? 
grandma, your grandma's friends, your next door neighbours, your drama teacher, whoever they are, shout them out. Give thanks to them, give praise to them. It is also a reminder that all the women that have assisted us, we are becoming them, are we not? We are now taking the step of assisting these babies, assisting these young women that are coming up. We have to affirm them. We have to showcase ourselves properly. We have to walk and be present in the world in a way that they can take example from us. Are you doing that? I try to. So yes, shout out to all of the women that have helped me, have assisted me. Big up to all of your women let us continue to create let us continue to create so that's it happy international women's month blessings upon blessings upon blessings i'm sweating i'm tired <laughs> it's done now ah oh. take care bless up and i am eating everything this shit hereditary the pressure rising rising some days i'm almost carefree some days i wish i could be so many women in me you beg a step